Moving to Mexico completely changed my life. And even with its obnoxious problems, I would never look back. Today, I'll share why everyone is moving to Mexico City and seven lies that you believe about Mexico. Hey, it's Sarah. I've lived in Mexico for 10 years and I am your guide to authentic experience in Mexico. Make sure you grab my Explore Mexico City cheat sheet down below. The first lie you believe about Mexico City is Mexico City is dangerous. I recently invited my aunt to come visit me here in Mexico City and her response was, my partner told me that we'll get killed if we go to Mexico. Really? I was once 20 minutes away from being stabbed on a bus near Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I have never faced violent crime in Mexico City. That being said, Mexico City is a big city, so crime is a problem. It exists, just like any other city on the planet. But this depends heavily on what area of the city that you're in and what time you're out. The crime rate in Mexico City, according to the good old internet, is comparable to Washington DC or London. And it's also significantly safer than Baltimore. Oh yeah, and there are police absolutely everywhere, and the National Guard. Do you want some more safety tips for traveling in Mexico City? After this video, check out my video about 10 secrets for traveling Mexico City up in the cards. The second lie you believe about Mexico City is the weather's always super hot. The year-round average temperature for Mexico City is about 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and it can freeze in the nighttime in the winter. Mexico City is about 7,500 feet high, which, by the way, is like 50% higher than Denver, Colorado. So the weather is very comfortable. Fun story, I spent four years roasting my life away in a tropical town on the Gulf Coast in Mexico. I hightailed it out of there back to Mexico City as soon as I could afford to, because I just couldn't handle the heat. I mean, seriously, I actually cried myself to sleep some nights because I couldn't believe how hot it was at midnight. Would you like to get regular tips and tricks for navigating Mexico City? Make sure you follow me on Instagram at senora.sara. The third lie you believe about Mexico is, Mexico is all deserts or all beaches. Some sources say that Mexican has at least seven different climate zones, ranging from arid to temperate to highlands to beaches. So yes, there are big deserts and amazing beaches in Mexico, but there's tropical rainforests and mountains and everything else in between. The fourth lie you believe about Mexico is Mexico is a third world country. Mexico is actually ranked as the 14th or 15th largest economy in the world, depending on who you ask. Oddly, it's also ranked as fourth among number of poor present in a rich economy. So that makes for a paradox within Mexico, like in so many places. There are a lot of complex issues that cause this, but there's a long history of political corruption and abuse of resources in Mexico, to keep it simple. It's certainly not a lack of resources. There is so much in Mexico. In my 10 years in Mexico, I have noticed an overall different attitude toward education than what I was used to back in the United States. People typically are not as prone to things like studying and reading in Mexico, although this is changing in big cities. Quick story about that actually, one time I was doing volunteer work in an indigenous community in southern Mexico in a language called Zapoteco del Valle. Stay tuned because we're going to talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes. Anyway, in this indigenous community, I met an elderly lady who was just learning to read and write, and she had to have been somewhere around 70 years old. I applaud her for taking up this difficult new task at such an advanced age, but it also illustrates the point that she never learned when she was younger. So there are parts of Mexico where education is not really that important in the area. Speaking of education, are you looking to learn Spanish with a native speaker? Check out senoraceras.classroom.com to book a class today. The fifth lie you believe about Mexico is Mexico is super cheap. Mexico can be super cheap. This absolutely depends on where you are going. We're definitely not talking about Cancun. Is Cancun even Mexico? I mean, really, it's like a tropical American bubble. Even in Mexico City. For example, I looked up the price of apartments to rent in Polanco. That's on the ritzy end of Mexico City. And the average price for those apartments was somewhere to the equivalent of 4,000 US dollars a month. 
And you know what? Some of them don't even bother listing them in pesos. They just put them in dollars. They don't even play with pesos. Sidebar, I do not live in Polanco. Now, for my family personally, our average cost of living in Mexico City is something like $1,000 a month. As I just mentioned, we do not live in Polanco. We don't eat out much. We have an old car with no payments that's just about as old as me. And we own our apartment. I like to go to Costco, okay? The sixth lie that you believe about Mexico is all Mexicans speak Spanish. Did you know that Mexico has 69 official languages? And no, they don't sound anything like Spanish. These are indigenous native languages to Mexico. The variety is absolutely staggering. Have you ever heard of Nahuatl, Zapoteco del Valle? You heard that one because I just mentioned it a few minutes ago. Certal, Tzotzil. Mexico has so much more to offer in terms of culture than just Spanish. Although, Spanish is pretty cool too. That's why I learned it, and that's why I teach it. The seventh lie you believe about Mexico is Mexican food is just tacos and burritos. Every state of Mexico has official dishes, and they're incredible. And I'm not talking about, like, U.S. states have official dishes. No. Each region of Mexico has very distinct and amazing cuisine. Here's a few examples. Have you ever tried chapulines? What about pozole, tlacoyos, chiles en nogada? How about cochinita pibil? By the way, chapulines is grasshoppers, and yes, I have eaten them. Get down here to Mexico and get into the food because I'm gonna tell you, Taco Bell ain't it. P.S. I've never had a burrito in Mexico City, although I do like a good burrito. Have you ever eaten an insect? Pop me a comment down below and let me know. Mexican food is just incredible. And if you want to learn about one iconic Mexican dish that you cannot miss out on, make sure you watch this video right after you subscribe.